At night, the roads of Perm province are not the safest of places for the common folk. This time, it is not demons that block your path, but rather, three highwaymen. Nikolai fearlessly walks towards the bandit, but then stops dead in his tracks. The bandit is an old comrade of his. After a brief conversation, the bandits disappear into the forest. You enter an old moonlit cemetery. Wooden tombstones are half broken. They stand in the dark like a squad of silent soldiers, each one staring at you blindly. You remember that this is the cemetery where the old hag Manka was buried. She was a famous witch Ikutnik. You search the silent cemetery and feel your skin crawl, a sign that evil spirits are nearby. One of the graves is dug up as if by a wild beast. You come closer. You almost fall over, but hold on to an old cross. Immediately, you realize that the old witch left her demons inside the crucifix. You finally reach the Changeling Bride's home village. Houses are scattered among grim firs. You feel the presence of evil spirits, and the book also seems to tremble with anticipation. You soon find the Izba, where the presence of evil spirits is strongest. As you approach, you hear the shrill cries of a baby coming from inside. The bride bites her lip and shifts from one foot to the other. You sigh. You'll need to make the first move.
who goes there? My baby can't sleep. Who are you girls? What do you need? Your child is a demon. See for yourself. The Abderiha's changeling lies in the cradle, looking exactly like a human baby. How can I make him show his true form? You lift the baby and quickly toss it over your shoulder. Christ's kingdom, what are you doing, you witch? Take a look at who you're raising. The crying baby turns into a piece of wood. Step aside. Hide over the stove. As soon as the mother and daughter climb above the stove, the log attacks you.
The bride tells her mother who she is. They hug. You can only guess how it feels to lose 18 years of your life. At the same time, the log turns into black smoke and sweeps into the black book. You feel dizzy. The world turns around you in a violent gale, disappearing in flames. Everything becomes dark. In only a week's time, the first seal is gone. All that's left is to open the seal. As I told you, you are very talented. Why do you drag me into this hole? Why shouldn't I feed you to my book? And lose such an invaluable helper. All of your Zagavars. It is I who empower them. They would not be as strong without me in your service. You will learn the nature of such things in time. So what do I do now? Where do I find the next evil spirit? You can't figure this out yourself. Others have spent years, decades even, just to break one seal. The next seal, as you know, is of water. I imagine it won't be difficult to find a Vigiloi. Not in your neck of the woods. Who did it before me? People of greatness who became greater when they reached the end of the Black Book. The Black Book makes wishes come true. It can be used in many ways. You should think about how you can use it. What happened to that log? Why was it sucked into the book? Surely you don't think you get your wishes for free. You must feed the fire. Some spirits just vanish, absorbed by the book. Others possess power enough to break the seal. Why are the seals blocked with passes? Was the book written by the people of Perm? Nothing of the sort. The book changes, adapts. I think the book has been testing you. If you could not figure out the primitive symbols of the truths, be unworthy of it. It's time for me to return to the light. Is that all you wished to ask me? Very well. You may go. We will meet again when you break the water seal. I would, however, think carefully on the subject of our next chat if I were you. Me being 
being such a priceless assistant. Wake up, Vasya! Vasilisa! Grandpa? Well, have you come to your senses? How did you end up here? A minute ago, no one was here. You tell old Yegor about your meeting with the Chort. So the second seal is gone. Now it's time for a water one. Good job, Vasya. Good job. We might actually make it. Well, you rest a bit now, before your next task. Vasya, what's that? What in the name are you doing? You can't pat me. I'm not your cat. I'm a demon, all right? Can't pet you? Let me tame him with a good poker hit. Wait, wait, what poker? Are you mad, Gramps? Maybe that will make you a better susietko. I have to feed you for that out of my can heart. Yesterday, some bird flew in. I had to chase it off. Where were you then? Huh? Not a sign, you furry short. Why, oh, stop. Come on, you'll hate me, damn it. Be careful, Igor. All right, I get it. I will do a better job as a susietko from now on. That's better. Next time, my hit will find its mark. He is not the kind to spoil his children. I know, right? What happened after you became a spirit? Seems like I do remember. We Sosietkas can see future quite well. The past we forget after a century or so. I was from Chute's tribe, I think. You're one of the Chud? They say Chud are small and wide-eyed. And you're cats! There are spirits like that, called Chuds. People lived here, a tribe like Komi Pirmins, a long time ago. So, I was one of them. There was my hut, at the same place where the church was built. Or a dugout it was? I remember exactly that I lived at the same spot. 
They must have buried me under the threshold. So I became a house spirit. And when Isba was gone and the church appeared, then I must have moved there. A lot of things happened. I will stir my memory a bit more about how I was Susetka in that Isba. Tell you later. So you can take any shape? I can. A wolf for a man, take your pick. Usually don't need it though. Ordinary people see us as shadows, nothing more. The rest they imagine themselves. Let's go, we'll talk later. Well met. Is this the house of old Igor? That's right. What brings you here? Here. I brought a gift for you. Salt. Hear me out, please. I'm from Ustbarovsk. I have a salt factory there. I'm Pahom Nikolaevich, the manager. My business is quite serious. I need to speak to you eye to eye. You need to speak to Vasilisa. She's the one in charge here now. A knower girl? That's a dangerous job. No such thing as a safe job. Everything is as God wills it. It is as you say. God abandoned our salt works. One day there's some noise in the salt oven. Another, some shadows near the salt boxes. So what? I see nothing strange. These things happen all over the gubernia. This is true. However, there was no brine at first, and the other day some workers went missing. It's been several days. The police don't care. They say they'll be back. I've already organized my own guards. I myself saw a kind of shadow near the barns. It disappeared the moment I saw it. I was told you can help me deal with spirits, and so I came here. Tell me, Pahom Nikolaevich, how people went missing? A week ago we hit brine. It just started gushing out. So we started working it, day and night, filled all the salt boxes. I put Alexei from Gradishevo on the night shift. He went missing. People said he went on a binge. The local doctor says he's an alcoholic. And then Pyotr went missing, also on the night shift. Did you try to figure out who is kidnapping these people? Yes. On the third day, I sent a couple of strong men, myself among them. All was quiet at first, and then, at night, some sort of shadow appeared. Trishka called out to it, but it started thrashing about. I still get chills thinking about it. I crossed myself, and the shadow ran to the barn, or to the oven, or to the salt box, I couldn't tell which. Come morning, I saddled the horses. You said the salt started to disappear. For half a year we had little to no salt. Disasters, one after the other. But we held on. Now we struck brine. Workers have gone missing. Tell me about your salt works. It isn't close. A factory near ust -Urolka. We do everything there. Extract the brine and load the Pirmianko onto the barges. Pirmianka is what we call our salt. Accidents happen, can't avoid them. But we never had to deal with demons. I won't leave you hanging. But if we help you, 
Don't forget about our reward. Perhaps you have some ancient or consecrated item? Don't worry about that. We won't forget. The main thing is that we find who is to blame. Have you had any arguments with the Vodinoi? With the Vodinoi? He doesn't give us any trouble in the factory. I'm a God-fearing man. We offered our Vodinoi vodka and baked treats. All right, I'll take a look at your factory. I organize transportation for you. They'll get you to the station. There, the manager will show you the way to the factory. Go as soon as you're ready. I'll go on ahead. Well, see you soon. God himself sent him, Vasya. There, you will break your seal. If only I had some Kupala salve, I could get there instantly. Oh, well, when Kupala comes, I'll get the required herbs. Get to it! Thank <laughs> you.